Previously on Velma's. That woman who just went to the back back there, her name wouldn't be Valerie by any chance, would it? Who, <laughs> Velma? Is Velma's name Valerie? Well, obviously not. She's an old girlfriend that left without a word. Hello, Valerie. It's been a long time. So tell me, do I have a son or a daughter? Any sign of her yet? Not hot nor hair. And let me tell you, that's a lot of hair to hide. We don't have a Velma, we don't have any wise men, we don't have any animals, and we don't have a Joseph, so I guess you're about right. Hey, Henry, take him out back and show him Joseph's house coat of many colors. Go get me a whole bunch of animals. I don't care what they are. Just go. We got a little less than two hours, and we may just pull this thing off after all. <laughs> Have you seen Buddy? He's supposed to be here with all the animals. Well, he was messing around with that Santa trap contraption earlier, and then he ran out of here with some rope. Oh. Well, the Three Kings dressed up real nice, don't they? <laughs> I'm thinking about asking him to sing Blue Christmas. What do you think? I think this pageant couldn't get any stranger. <laughs> well, it looked hey. like I spoke too soon. Hey. Buddy. What? Hey, Buck. What hey. are you doing? Well, you told me to get some animals, and it didn't matter what they looked like, so I did. Well, there weren't no goldfish or dogs at the manger, and I don't even know what to say about that deer head. Well, I was thinking we could hang some colored balls from the antlers. Well, we don't have time. We gotta get everybody over to the rec center. All right, um, listen up, everybody. Okay, um, thank you all so much for being here. Um, well, well, Velma was supposed to do this, but seeing as how she's not here, I guess I will. Okay, we'll head over first with the shepherds, and then uh, Mary and Joseph. Hey, don't forget the baby Jesus. And the baby Jesus, and then the Elvis Kings, and then the angel will bring up the rear. <laughs> Shut up, Henry. Well, I'm just... All right, everybody, let's go. <laughs> Whoa. The heck was that? Well, that's my Santa trap. I think I got him. What the? <gasps> Velma? Velma. Are you all right, honey? Yes, I'm fine. No thanks to this contraption. I just knew you'd come back, Velma. I'm not back, Henry. I just dropped by to, to grab a few things, and then this thing grabbed me. Are you leaving Lord. us, honey? Look, I've given it a lot of thought. And I've been lying so long, I just, I just don't see any other way. Well, what happened to your hair, Velma? See, I don't even know how to wear my hair. Am I Velma or am I Valerie? Oh, no, she's confused again. Uh, uh, Velma, you can't leave us. I mean, you're part of our family. Who is Henry? Velma or Valerie? I mean, family doesn't lie to each other like I've lied to y'all, and you all deserve better. We don't want better. We want you. Henry. Uh, well, you know what I mean. Look, can you just tell us what happened, Velma? Well, I was about 16 years old, and so was he. We were old enough to know better, but... One thing led to another, and then that led to a baby, and, and that baby changed everything. Wait, that, that's it. Hush up, buddy. Okay. Velma, this is about me, isn't it? What are you talking about, Nadine? You having to leave town on no, account Velma of... No, don't have Hush to leave. Hush up, you... buddy. You having to leave town on account of your daughter. What does she have to do with you? For heaven's sakes, just say it, Velma. Say what? I'm your little girl, aren't I? Oh, come on, Velma. I love being a waitress, and you love being a waitress. I have big hair, and you... Well, you had big hair, and you've been here for 25 years, and I'm basically 25 years old. Now, come on, Velma. I watch all my children. I know how these things work. Nadine? Yes. <laughs> you need to loosen up your halo, darling, because you're cutting off your oxygen. <laughs> Your mama lives on Spring Avenue, where she has since the day she brought you home from the hospital. Which is where you're gonna end up if you don't quit talking so crazy. Well, then, if I'm not your little girl, then what happened to her? Well, once I found out I was pregnant, it became clear that I didn't fit my parents' idea of the model daughter. Between their disappointment and the disapproval of the ladies at my church, I just couldn't take it, so... so I left. Well, no wonder that lady from the Fountain of uh, Grace Memorial, Grace Memorial Church. Church set you off that day. Yeah. Her accent was different, but her tone was the same. So I moved to Oregon until she was born. And then this nice couple came and took her and gave her the life that I couldn't. 
from there, I, I moved down here and said goodbye to Valerie and hello, Velma. <laughs> as much as I hate to say it, I guess it's time for me to say goodbye to Velma. Oh, come on, now they say I'm the stupid one. No, oh, what's up, buddy? But no, what? I don't, I don't, I don't think that I will. I mean. It was always hush up, buddy. You be quiet, buddy. Shut your pie hole, buddy. But you know, I'm through being quiet, and I'm I'm gonna say my piece. Well, as long as it's all right with Velma. Okay, buddy. What is it? I think it's stupid for you to leave. Now listen, buddy. It's complicated, and I know that you don't understand. No, no, you don't understand. Uh, I mean, you said when you had that baby, it it, it changed everything. It did. Well, that's the point. I mean, isn't that what happened at, at Christmas? I mean, I, I mean, things were bad, and 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 people were afraid of, of God and, and of each other, and and then and then Mary had a baby, and and that changed everything. And then, then all the people that the world said weren't good enough. It, it didn't matter anymore because because he made it to where it was okay. They didn't have to be that good anymore, isn't that right? I mean, he changed everything. So, so Nadine, she can play an angel, and that, that I can and mess up, and it'll be okay, right? And, and that you don't have to change to a new place. I mean, you can stay right here with the people that love you. And I, I'm just saying, it'd be stupid for you to leave <laughs> when he went and changed everything. That's all. <laughs> who, who would have thought? <laughs> How did you go and get to be so smart? <laughs> I just listened to you, Velma. <laughs> <laughs> well then, listen up! You all get this pageant on the road! Get to work while I go draw on a new set of eyes! So you're staying? No! <laughs> I'm staying. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's go! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> now, come on. Oh, all right, I'll get on next to me. On a night like this, on a broken road, she is far from sleep. She is far. Tear the still of night She wonders why The future was bright and clear She planned for a wedding day Her daddy would hold back tears Giving her hand away But now all her hope and fear in a cradle lay Cause a baby came and everything changed Never far 
from my broken soul.